What's up, gamer? Welcome to another episode of The Front. Today, in today's video, I am going to give you guys a base tour of what we worked on last night on stream. If you ever want to join us live, uh, we are live on YouTube every night from 9 Central Time to midnight Central Time. I'm going to give you guys a base tour. We're going to collect some wood. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on collecting wood as well as we're going to collect some stone. I also got attacked by the psychotic fox. Oh, God that just came out of nowhere it's pretty insane as well as we finally got my mega base enclosed closer to the end of the video so if this is the kind of content you guys like make sure you hit the like button and please consider subscribing but without further ado let's go ahead and get into it all right so i'm going to show you guys a little bit uh, of what i came up with last night and yesterday um as far as my base goes here i finally decided what i wanted to do so I built a grid of stone pillars here. Now, if you don't know how to get stone pillars, you have to uh, get foundations and then hold down your right click and turn it into a pillar so that you can actually stack them because you can't stack foundations, unfortunately. So this is what I ended up going with so that we could have the biggest, flattest area. Um, now, at a certain point here, you can see that I end up going up one uh, and that is because on these corners here at that level, uh, we start to, you know, run out of space. So I went ahead and made sure I moved them up one. And then we put this big staircase here. Uh, obviously still a lot of construction going on here. I'm not sure why these flipped around, but, uh, should be able to just bloop. I say that. Okay. You have to do it twice. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we've got, uh, this little storage case area, store case area here. Um, I've got some shelving with some storage crates on it, just packed full of blueprint, blueprints and stuff like that. Uh, stuff I just kind of need to get out of the way that I'm not going to use in any sort of crafting or anything. And then I've got the two by two roofs. I also have, I went around the outside with the one by ones and then I got the two by two floor here in the middle simply because I accidentally made a ton of them and I didn't mean to. We've got all of our workbenches along the wall. Um, we did figure out electricity yesterday. If you guys want a tutorial or whatever on how to make electricity work, uh, we've got, uh, you know, the on and off light switch here. We've got pretty much unlimited power for the most part up on the roof. We've got solar panels and things like that. Um, I did end up putting this thing back here because it won't let me place it on a foundation, but in order for my base not to decay, you have to have that thing down there, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Uh, and I got this little thing going on here we've got two solar panels going into a coupler that sends our juice from our batteries into here and you can see that our battery capacity is 160,000 out of 160,000 and that should go all the way all the way around up to here uh, which is currently generating juice more or less and these should all be empty uh, we're not generating juice right now for some reason I really don't know why but insufficient light okay <laughs> that's <laughs> apparently it's too cloudy i don't know uh we can get wind turbines and stuff apparently later uh which we will do once we get to that stage but for now i'm going to be working on trying to finish this base so i'm going to go collect a bunch of wood and stone and if you don't know yesterday we got the jackhammer and the chainsaw which are absolutely game changing for collecting you know wood and stone but i'm going to show you guys i'm going to go up on the top of this hill and at the top of that hill there's going to be like a forest thing here and i'm going to show you guys how to get a whole lot more wood than you normally would if you were chopping down these plain like regular sized trees all right so i made it up over the hill now these trees here normally let's see how much they give us uh this is with all my tech buffs and everything else uh, so 17 wood we get off of one of these plain trees. Now, if you come to this forest area, it's pretty much anywhere that's dark green here. Like the whole entire thing, anything that's dark green. Uh, you will find these two kinds of trees. Now, with my axe previously, I was getting 36 with these and 48 with these. So these are definitely the best tree you can get for wood if you don't want to waste your time chopping other ones but let's see how much the chainsaw gets me here all right so the ones with the vines on it gives me 44 
And these big guys right here are going to give me like 60, 52. So yeah, if you need a ton of wood, just come, just come chop down some of these big trees over here. Obviously the, the ones that have all the good wood are a little bit more unique in this area, but they, there is quite a bit of them. You just gotta, gotta run to them. I figure chopping both of these isn't too bad. But yeah, dude, you get your thousand wood in no time. Look at that. We're already at 500. We haven't even really done anything yet. Uh, now if we could just find a good place to gather a bunch of stone, if you know, let me know in the comments other than just running around and hitting random stone nodes everywhere. Let me know if you got a good spot for stone. That'd be awesome. Wait, can you even tell me? Oh yeah, I guess there is. I guess there is like H10, I9. Yeah, give me a zone or something if you got a good place for stone farming. Need all the stone. All right, I'm gonna finish gathering up a bunch of wood here and I'll hook back up with you guys once I'm done. All right, I got a little carried away here, but I got uh, about 1900 uh, wood in about five minutes. I ran past this camp too. I wanted to see if there's any good loot in here. Let's see here, 82 rubber, dude. Machine parts and iron axe, don't really need that, but we'll take it anyway. Um, 82 rubber, holy crap, man. Uh, we got some hops, a shard, some trout, and some wheat. All right, the loot in that one was kind of trash. Those yellow, any of these yellow lined containers, man, are good stuff. And if you find any green cases or green boxes anywhere, that's, that's the real good stuff. I'm going to go explore a little bit and see maybe if I can find a really good spot. I don't know if maybe there's a rock quarry or something, uh, to get, oh God. Psycho Fox, bro. Psycho Fox. Jesus. I heard him galloping towards me. That was weird. But yeah, I'm going to see if there's maybe like a rock quarry that's not copper, iron, or salt or anything like that. Maybe it's just rocks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look around for a little while and let you guys know what I find. All right, I don't know. I looked around for a little while. I didn't really find any huge abundance of uh, stone anywhere. So I think I'm just going to go hit up the salt and I should be able to get quite a bit of stone from that. Uh, but I am going to drop off all of this all of this wood so much wood and the 200 rope nice dude then i'm actually gonna keep on crafting rope because it takes forever and you might as well just keep on crafting rope okay give me some food and i think i'm gonna have to go kill these npcs over here there's quite a bit of little salt nodes that spawn right here i don't really know why this seems to be like one of the only places i've ever noticed like this before the NPC is not here right now? Well, that's surprising. Well, I think I will just have myself a little heyday then. Until they show up. Jackhammer is awesome, dude. Absolute game changer. Hey, level 34, let's go. We're moving up in the world moving up in the world I mean, yeah see that gave us 290 stone right there which isn't a ton but it's better than nothing hit up this little thing right here how much do we get from just a, a rock 40 i also don't have any sort of buff at least i don't think i do for for collecting stone um let's see here so i've got the increase the amount of collected when chopping wood but iron ore there lead copper and chance to immediately break yeah i don't see one on here for stone which is kind of unfortunate a little bit unfortunate fuel conservation light feet fasting loot speed loot speed that sounds kind of nice is that like the speed at which you're you can open like bags and stuff you don't have to hold f down forever all right um stone stone okay sort 
go ahead and smash this salt in the chemistry bench, right? Yeah. Salt, salt. All the salt. Okay, which... All the rubber. I got more rubber. 82 rubber. Cool. Bunch of gunpowder. That in the weapon bench. Tons of gunpowder. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. That's awesome. I need rifle ammo, but I still need to fix my rifle too, dude. Nine polymer, 19 machine parts, and 21 iron ingots. I actually think I could do that. There's, there's the iron ingots. Uh, the polymer I have is in the, this one. Yeah, there's the polymer. Okay, and then I just need the machine parts, which I think are also in here. Cool! I can repair my rifle now. Yay! I get my rifle back. Nice. It's so expensive to do that, man. So expensive. Wait. Did it not repair? Maybe I canceled it on accident. What happened here, dude? Oh, I got you. I'm still crafting rope. There we go. All right, we're good now. <laughs> Oops. Apparently we can also put a grip and a and a silencer or something on it. I don't know what that's all about, but I don't believe. Here, let me turn my lights on and show you guys how, how impressive the lighting is. Look at that, dude. I'm working on, you know, I'm gonna have lights on both sides all the way around. It will be very nice. I don't know why these walls keep flipping. I keep flipping them back and they keep flipping again I don't understand I also don't understand why my FPS is all, all of a sudden causing a problem it really it, it only happens when I'm recording it doesn't even happen really when I'm streaming it's kind of weird weird uh. all right did I craft stone foundations no I did not I've got 28 right here um all right let's take those and let's see here go ahead and select the pillar i want to make sure i get everything underneath even though i've got the whole floor done right now i want to make sure i've got all the stuff underneath because you know old timmy doesn't like to do things incomplete so i will waste 500 foundations if i have to to get the underneath side looking good just gotta be completely done and then I'll probably end up wrapping it in walls and it won't even matter that's how complicated I am all right cool well I'm going to go gather up some more stone so we can make some more foundations and we've got 20 cooking right now so yeah I'll be right back so I somehow found my way up on the side of this like mountain thing right here. My base is right here. Um, and I mean, it's got a decent amount of stone. I'm, I'm at like, uh, I'm at 1500 in about 10 minutes or so. I mean, it's not bad. I just been kind of collecting a little bit of everything, uh, because it all gives you stone, I guess. So in the process of just collecting stone for my, for my thing here, grabbing plant fiber too, and making rope on the go making rope and stone i think there's a poi maybe right here a little house or something we'll check and see what's in there real quick hopefully maybe we'll find something cool um also there's these like big stones i don't know i don't i think these are like the only stones that we can that we can mine right i think so i don't think we can get these yeah we can't get those or that okay all right, let's see here. Is there any loot in this building? Thought I heard somebody. Show me what you got here. Can I get it through the floor? I can. Oh, look at that. Two stone foundations and three floors. Oh, I can actually use those right now. That's totally fine with that. A banana. I gotta eat this banana too, honestly. Hydration's a little low, eat some nanners, eat some fruit. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna head back to the base and uh, get to making some more foundations so we can do a little bit more building here. All right, I made it back to base. So I'm going to pump all this uh, stone into here, as well as my rope. 
and we're just going to let loose on foundations for now. Um, I've got 27 more here, getting a 29. All right, we'll pick the pillars. See how much more I've got to do underneath here. Not a whole heck of a lot, just a couple. All right, cool. That ought to get us there, man. That ought to be everything we need for underneath pillars. Now we've got to finish these uh, stacks out here. Uh, so let's see. Need one about there. Skip one. And another one there. Okay. Aw, oh, man. I hate it when I accidentally put one, like, in a... Because you can't, like... You know, some games you have, like, a time limit where you can destroy it. To where it would, like, make it to where, like, you know, you never built it in the first place. Unfortunately, this game, you just build it in the wrong spot. You have to destroy it. You have no choice but to destroy it. Lame. Lame. All right, you go there. Okay. We're getting there, folks. We are getting there. And I still have plenty of uh, roofing material. I just have to get these pillars up and walls too, probably. All right, so we actually only need like not really a ton, maybe like 20 more foundations. And you know, I know I queued up a hundred here, but we'll take what we got along the way. And I'll also get the two by two floors for the roofs. Okay, cause I, I know I still need to come out this way one. So we still have to do this one. And is that right? Yep, that's right there. Wait, what the heck? It totally just like had a mind of its own all of a sudden and put it way back in the back. Okay, that goes like that. And another one here. Perfect. And last guy here. Okay, a few more. Got our nice little like underground warehouse looking thing going on here. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Mega build. Woohoo. It's really not too hard, especially once you get the the pickaxe and the or the jackhammer and the and the chainsaw in order to get materials to build a pretty substantial sized thing. All right, I think I'm gonna cancel these and change them all to walls now. Uh, make sure I just do the regular one by walls and not the twos. Yeah, that would be good. All right, so let's see here. Let's start throwing up roofs. Perfect. Hmm, what am I missing here? Oh, I guess just some walls, huh? Um, let's see here. Stone wall. Can I just put one up over here just for the sake of putting this roof up? There we go. For now. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. All right, perfect. Oh, no. Not perfect. Up. Up, please. Oh my god, it's like the whole world is falling down when you destroy something. Alright, here we go. That works perfect. Okay, now I have the issue that I was having earlier, which I think I'm going to either extend this wall one direction this way or destroy this section which I think I'm gonna go with destroy this section simply because um, the way the floor is set up I want to do this like one single floor outline with the two time floors in the middle so we got this little pattern going on here um yeah I think I'm gonna have to des to destroy some things so I'll be right back all right, just a few more pieces. Just a few more pieces. All right, I got it all squared up now. Now it won't look weird. Now it won't look weird. Um, 
Oh wait, I missed one. There we go. All right, so now we've got our little one gap gap here. I think I'll probably end up deleting these pillars as well once I get the walls up uh, because I don't think I'll need them once I get the walls up. So let's see how we're sitting on walls. We might be able to wrap this puppy up right now. Let's get it. Uh, 22. Let's come over here and do this side first. Let's do this side first. Okay. All right. Cool. Now I should be able to theoretically destroy these pillars. I freaking hope so. I hope so. Why does it say insufficient material for auto repair? I might have to check on my beacon there and make sure I got enough. All right, cool. So I got that whole row out. That's looking good. We just need more walls, more walls, more walls, more walls. Dun, 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 dun. More walls. Oh crap, dude. I'm freaking thirsty. My dude is thirsty. Come on, drink. Let's go. Drink. I'm dying of thirst. I haven't been paying too much attention to my freaking my vitals. I'm also going to need to make like multiple entrances from all angles to this place. Entrances from all angles. Here's my refrigerator too, by the way. Keeps my food. It takes it takes an it takes like 2 hours for one food to decay in here. But it still decays rather than 30 minutes. Uh, what is it? Is what it takes, I think, when it's in your inventory. All right, more walls. 15. 15 walls. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I do think I'm going to make, like, maybe a doorway here. At least for now, just something simple so I can get up inside of here. Okay, and maybe if I've got some stairs. Do I have some stairs in here? Uh, we got some stone stairs. I got some stone roofs too that might work just fine. I don't really know. Should work fine, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Did I grab the stairs? Of course not. Crap. Can I get up here? Yeet! Okay. I thought I had some, like, different kinds of stairs, but, uh... Hmm. Oh, we also have an iron door, which sounds pretty cool. An iron door. Nice. Nice. I definitely think I'm going to have to make some more stairs. It takes glue to make stairs, man. Freaking glue. Which is insanely expensive for some stairs. Uh, supposedly, though, you can go to the desert and chop freaking cactuses for mucus. Which sounds epic. Which sounds super epic. 12 more walls. Here we go. 12 more. Let's go, baby. We wrapping this thing up today. Even though I only started working on it last night. We're calling, we're calling this our basic structure. So this is our 100% bare bones basic structure that we're building here. Absolutely basic. I need five more stairs here. All right, I'm going to wait for more walls to be done, and we're going to finish this puppy up. All righty, let's wrap this up. 62 walls ought to be more than enough. I probably, probably don't need that many. Let's see here. Let's 
stepped away for a minute. Flip that one. I keep pulling that out on accident. Oh man. Nope, let's get rid of this. Okay. All the way up to the top. We'll square the roof off. I'm gonna have to make a bet, a good way to get up to the roof, honestly. I might leave a, let's see here. Oh yeah, I still need five, five of those. We'll see how, if it'll let me do my roofs all the way around since there's walls touching it all without any supports all right then I'll be spending the next couple of days trying to get enough material to light the whole place huh there we go folks we are completely enclosed I just need five more stairs real quick all right I made up our five stairs let's go ahead and hopefully place them all in the right spot so I don't have to make more. There we go. All right, there we go. We are as complete as complete can be uh, outside of getting the lighting and things like that. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.